All right, guys, the time is finally here. We have the very first fast track wildcard duel. So just to, before we get into it, we'll explain to you exactly what's going on here about the bracket. So yeah. we have a 16-man bracket. We're shooting for a 16-man bracket. A couple people dropped out like two days before. Yeah. Uh, but half of the bracket is going to be wreck. Half the bracket is small batch. So seven of the spots are filled. The eighth spot on each side will be dueled for by two wild cards on each side. So on the rec side, we have Planta and then somebody else that dropped out. So Planta is going to, unless somebody in the next 24 hours hops in that spot, they're just going to move into the bracket with a buy. Um, and then on the small batch side, we have Sean Cron with his Zope uh, from his 10 lighter versus uh, the prodigal company's Zecret Rainbows. So we got those rolled up here. Um, the winner of this will go into the bracket against all the other small batch entries that we have yep. to finally see who is actually smoking better, rack or small batch, and what type of difference it makes. <clears throat> so we'll jump into it. So um, uh, for reference, because um, we are obviously we don't have packaging out right now, so for references, um, that is going to be the Secret Rainbows, and this is going to be the um, Zope. Sean Cron Zope. Yep. Um, so while we're lighting it, I will get into the rules and exactly how this competition is going to be judged. So uh, this is unlike any other competition out there right now. So every competition focuses on a lot of different things, you know, no problem with that packaging at all. Packaging sustainability. and um, Yeah, <laughs> nose, bag appeal, packaging sustainability, uh, uniqueness, um, whole bunch of things that really don't matter if it's not smoking let's be real if it's not smoking all that shit is bullshit so our competition is the first of its kind that is no big entry fees no big sponsorship opportunities from any flower companies nothing like that we are here to see what the fuck is smoking the best and that's it um so what do we mean by what's smoking the best so we look at flavor smoothness and the longevity of those two things uh, for flavor, we're looking at accuracy. So does it taste like what it smells like? Uh, for purity, is there any background noise of ash, tar, smoke, spray, etc.? Anything that shouldn't be there that doesn't taste like what it smells like. Uh, and then for strength, how much of that flavor is coming through? doesn't matter if we like that flavor or not, just how much of it is coming through. Uh, and then the longevity of those flavor attributes. One second here for smoothness, we're looking at, is it a substantial, um, you know, like a mouth coating, soothing medicinal smooth, or is it an empty air smooth, uh, just cause there's nothing there. Expansion that hurts so good. That is not harshness to us. That is good shit. We love that. Facts. Um, but that tickle on your tonsils, the hotness on your palate, the irritation in your lungs, the stinging on the nasal tract, all those things are not. Uh, what we're looking for. So with all that being said, if everything is even and both things are just as smooth, just as flavorful across all categories and are lasting just as long, then we'll look into all the other things that don't really matter in our opinion, like bag appeal, nose, blah, 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 yeah. potency, etc. cetera. Um, but based on how that lit up and how this lit up, I'm not, I'm not convinced that this will be close because this is not lighting up super well. How's yours? Lit up well. I'm going to hit it again because I got a little bit of background noise. It was super smooth, but I had a little bit of background noise that I wasn't really enjoying. And it seemed like the flavor was a tiny bit faint. Um, Zope's a hard one for us too, guys, right? I mean, if we're being honest with each other, yeah. because we've had the best batches of Zope, it's a, it's a tough one. It's, like it's, a, it's a big feat to tackle with us. Let's see the, uh, you want to put it in here? Yeah. Pause. <laughs> So looking relatively similar, I'd say the Zope is combusting a little better right out the gate. I'm getting on this a little bit of background noise of like, I don't even know what I would call it. Um, sorry, you want to no, do that? Yeah, just so do you that can angle. see like the actual. Um, oh. I don't know exactly what I would call this background noise. Maybe like a, it's not minerality. It's, I, I wouldn't say it's terps. See the difference? Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say it's terps. It's something like, maybe not a nutrient or something. I don't know. It's not something I'm enjoying necessarily. It's 
smoothness not too bad not too gray a little bit of <laughs> stinging on the tonsils how's smoothness for you <coughs> smoothness is great I, i'm yeah. not complaining in the smooth category on this our doing cam's fucking up here guys but as you can see where i lit it it's a lot wider than where it is now burning so it doesn't seem to be combusting pretty well over here so far this could be a first round knockout based on how this is performing and keep in mind if one of the entries isn't at least good doesn't necessarily have to be great but if if they're not at least good that's a that's a dq all around no contest no winner yeah um here gotcha <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's see about this zope it looked like it lit up pretty well but it also looks like it's starting to kind of lose it's pitch. It's combustibility, yeah. Yeah. I definitely get zote flavor from it. Definitely a little bit of minerality background, I think. But yeah. I wouldn't say it's even close at this no, point. No, it's it's not. I, I, I'm If I'm being honest, if this, and, and no disrespect to Prodigal One or anybody, but if this was passed to me, I probably wouldn't hit it again. No. no. I'd hit it and I'd be like, oh, I'm good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> much respect. Yeah, Much no, respect for entering. Yeah, no on disrespect. The fast track. We appreciate you know your time and 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 all the effort that you took to grow this and to and to bring it to us for the competition. Um, yeah, definitely no hate, dude. Shout out to Prodigal One for putting his nuts on the table and fucking throwing his weed in the mix. Yeah, so I get a little bit of hotness from this zope, and definitely some minerality, but I do get some flavor from it. Um, this is how a lot of weed is smoking. Right nowadays now. with white ashes yep. has the minerality a little bit of hotness to it do you want to hit and this the again? flavor i'm good i think i'm gonna call this a first round knockout yeah i agree um sucks man but yeah i mean i just we got to be honest with each other right that's the whole yep. point of this competition is to be honest and talk about what's smoking and what isn't and not to lead the people astray yeah i will say the zope clogs just how zope does yeah you know, it, it does it just, like if you can see it's just kind of um, suctioned as soon as you hit it it just goes yep pause and uh, kind of makes it a little hard to hit nice though it's definitely yeah. good yeah definitely good enough for a W so we have within a few hits we got Sean Cron moving on uh, to the small batch bracket yeah and like I said, it's, you know, Zope is a hard one for you and I. Let's be honest, too. Yeah. It's, it's a hard one for us. Genetics aside, though, there's a lot of minerality coming no, through. No, of course is there hot. is. There is. But I'm just talking about even flavor, right? Like the flavors there, like you said. Flavors there's, there. there's some flavor there. There's some flavor there. Yeah. But it's not that mouth-coating just... smack that we've had with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's the difference of it's like it's hard for us. It's Try hard. it again because I'm even getting a little bit of the mouth coat right now. There's just so much company that it's just so distracting. It's hard to really enjoy it. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, you know, not, it's obviously not the mouth coat that we used to get, but it's not the empty Zope taste that a lot of Zope is nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. There is. It, the it zope has more there. flavor than most of the Zope that we have smoked mm -hmm. since just has past 2019. Yeah. It's definitely got some company. There's a mil minerality, but there's also like a plantiness too that I'm getting. I didn't pick up the plantiness and usually my planty radar goes crazy. I need to look for that. You know when someone waters a lawn and then it's hot and it's like almost like that moisture is getting dried off of the lawn? Mm -hmm. That's almost what I Well, taste. you know what? Let's also, so he did say it was really fresh. Uh, he just got it trimmed up just to send it. It's only been in a grove bag for two days. Uh, yeah, and it was stuffed into the grove bag. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. It will have another day to fight. Okay. Um, well, obviously, yeah, and it'll, it, it will through. be in grove bags until then because we only got it in a ziploc. So if we kept it in the ziploc, it'd be fucked. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to put it in anything but a grove. But I will say the hotness could be from the freshness because that is the water vapor moisture burning off. You know yeah, I mean? uh, causes the hotness. So we'll see. I was honestly thinking pitch. that that was where the plant. That's like that was where the planty that I was getting to. Like it's almost like wet grass or something that I'm getting off of it when I'm hitting it. I kind of see what you're saying. 
I'm picking up that as like a minerality almost. But then now that I think about that, it's like I kind of I kind of see what you're saying. Yeah, it's like, you know, we used to go to football practice at noon, you know, and they'd water the lawn in the morning and you get there and it's a hot fucking day. And fucking like it's like that smell and taste that you get off of the grass drying in the heat. I think it's getting better. Let's go. I think it's getting better. Um, I'm going to let it sit for a minute then. Interesting. Yeah. Shit is fucking leaking though, dude. Absolutely leaking. Let's get a full 360 there. Can we get uh, that? A full 360? Yeah. Yeah. Nice ash structure. A little bit of pepper. Is fresh. Yeah. Expect that to probably go away, honestly. The the hotness makes sense. To yeah, it makes sense, yeah. And I didn't it know fresh. it was fresh. So that, that does make a little bit of sense. And like you said, it'll live to fight another day. So when it comes back for round two, we'll see if it's improved in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, and I would say the Prodigal Co's... Um, I, I can't remember if you said it was fresh or not. It did not seem fresh, though. Uh, it was pretty no, dry. It, yeah, the break... The break, break I'll down. tell you this. This was definitely more of a... okay. I don't know how to, yeah, I don't know how to like, uh, explain this unless you're a roller, you'll understand what I mean. When you go to press down on it, it doesn't go anywhere. It's like whatever you stacked up in like, like the broken mm -hmm. down flower, it's like, it's there. It's not going to move anywhere. It, yeah. You just form it. Some of them you can push down. It's like spongy. And spring back up. That's how then... this was. Okay. Yeah. This was spongier as that one was dry for sure. Yeah. Like it didn't really move it when I rolled it. didn't have much to compress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it seemed a little dustier when I broke it down. Mm-hmm. So what would it have been in a grove bag? I don't know, but it was uh, it was it was decent for now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I I don't know that I'd say it's improving. To me, it still kind of seems the same. I'm gonna hit it one more time, but I don't know why I'm picking up zope flavor from it. Well, it's zope, right? Yeah, but I'm saying like, you know, usually it's super light. Like it was lighter in the beginning than no, it is now. I, no, I'm definitely getting the flavor. The flavor is there. I'm, I was talking about just like overall. I don't think it's really like improving much. Is there a pitch in it though? Uh, there's little stripes. Little stripes of pitching. Uh, but this looks like better. something that will generally smoke that is fresh. You know, like this is how it looks when something will end up smoking, but it's fresh. So... Everything kind of lines up with... That's why I was asking if it was pitching. And it's yeah. not with all things, but, you know, there's been some instances where things are fresh and halfway through the moisture will finally escape out of it and then it'll pitch and start to burn better. Um, so that's why I was asking that. Yeah. No, there was a lot of tar taste in that one. It's getting pretty clogged, too. Yeah. So... We'll go ahead and call this a win yeah, for Sean I'm, Cron. I'm probably good there. Um, but, yeah, definite win for Sean Cron. For sure. And... Um, we will see you in the next bout. So next we have, if you want to pass in that jar. Yeah, got the planta. Um, so, plantas, candy coffins. We got this on the contender series. So, basically, contender series is where we're just scouting shit, see what's smoking, stuff we haven't really tried. If we know somebody's putting out some smoke already, we'll fucking, you know, we'll just pick it up. But right. we didn't really know what's up with planta. We tried it. It was fucking smoking. Yeah, absolutely smart. Uh, so they wanted to get in on the bracket, on the rec side. Uh, they fast-tracked in as a wild card. So 24 hours, basically, if if nobody wants to smoke with Planta on the wild card, uh, then they're just going to move right in onto the bracket. So, uh, And actually, I think we'll go over some of the details uh, of the bracket that we can confirm right now. What about... Uh, and things that are pending. <sighs> what about... I'm trying to think of anybody that might want to come in and go up against Planta. Oh, that's a thought right there. Um, I've been thinking about that for three days. Let's see. So Tenko is maybe. Um, maybe gonna... He hasn't replied, but we're looking for ways to buy it. Because remember, this is not a voluntary competition. We go to the person first, see if they want to submit a batch. If not, we buy it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go buy it. Because if you're a big name in, in rec, you know, like we want to see in there. Um Planta would be going up as the wild card would be going up against Tenko. We had them at the one seed because everything we've tried from them lately has been smoking crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Wizard Trees going up against Life Sauce. Um, so that's... That'll be interesting. Yeah, that'll be super interesting. Um, we likely have Alien Labs. Um, we're not sure what the opponent is yet. 
and we have Blueprint versus Good Pizza. Yeah. So the reason we did that is obviously both are our friends. Uh, we're going to be unbiased and fucking say what it is for sure. Uh, but we know that people, it would be a little bit more believable if we just put our two friends together. And say Rather than the have them thought. continue to beat out everybody else and be like, oh, yeah, well, yeah. they're choosing them because they're homies. Yeah. If, if yeah. I mean, look, and here's the thing. There are some absolute fucking hitters in this bracket, so this isn't going to be easy for anybody. No. You know what I'm saying? Um, because seven of the eight spots are selected based on a history of smokeability. So. Yeah. Everybody needs to bring their A game, basically. Yeah, so that's the um, that's the rec side. So for the small batch side, we now have Sean Cron. Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to be facing Third Eyes Z, which was a really like probably top stellar two yeah. Z's I've ever that had. That shit was, fire. and it didn't even smell like nothing. So that's a trip. Um, we're trying to get pure and proper Z because we've heard a lot about them. We're trying to get uh, Cash Tree Mason, and we're trying to get NorCal Nemo. Um, even one out, I think, right? And then on the bottom of the bracket, we have uh, Fuck. So F V C K. I think we're forgetting one. Which one? Elephant's growth. No, he doesn't have a harvest right now. Oh, he's pheno hunting, dude. Yeah, I know that's a problem. Uh, Mr. Cushington also uh, could not uh, get anything together. Yeah, there's there's nothing else, or there's nothing out right now. Uh, we also had a couple others, people that did pay for a fast track to get in to the small batch side, um, who uh, were they're going to be a couple of weeks late, basically, on the harvest. So uh, we're recruiting some more. So if you see this and you want to get somebody snuck in there, we still have to work through a lot of the small batch. I mean, sorry, the rec side rec of the bracket. Side, yeah, so we have we a little bit it. of time to fill in this. Uh, small batch bracket, so not the homies or anything, but like we're trying to get like known people in this bracket. The fast track, that's like where the homies can go and submit themselves and shit. Mm -hmm. um, but the way you get into this bracket, I mean, this is like a we might do this twice a year, and this is a bracket specifically for people that are being talked about by a lot of people. Yeah, you know and if you guys do see this and want to help us out and like have ideas for like, hey, I can get you this, and I think this would be a good entry or whatever. Um, probably hit the support email or dm me because yeah. if you dm Terp him it's going to get lost and yeah dm at terp connoisseur uh t-e-r-p underscore c-o-n-n-o-i-s-s-e-u-r so, um, dude. and then and, another underscore oh yeah and, and another underscore you'll see the panda on there dm me i'll get to you quicker i have way less followers than obviously the business page does um so yeah Dope. Well, congrats to Sean Cron. Um, yeah, big shout out. Fucking uh, not exactly sure which bout we're doing next, but we'll keep you posted on that yep. for now. And then uh, we'll be live tomorrow, right? Yes, yes, but this will be this will come out a couple yeah. days after. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, for now, Perfect. we're out of here. Peace. Big old going.